I told you there was a natural, easy, and affordable way to always have perfect teeth? Well, today I'm going to be telling you guys how to do oil pulling. So what is oil pulling? Oil pulling is an alternative medicine practice where an edible oil is swished around in your mouth for a period of time, usually like 10 to 15 minutes, and then you spit it out like mouthwash. It originates from Ayurvedic medicine, and a lot of people claim that oil pulling can improve your oral and a whole body health. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to oil pull, and first things first is what are the supplies that you need? There are three things. You'll need an oil, a spoon and a bin to spit into. So the next question is, what kind of oil should I use? Traditionally, people used sesame oil, but today there's a lot of modern alternatives, I guess, where people also use sunflower oil, olive oil, coconut oil, and just a plethora of other oils. From my knowledge, most people choose coconut oil because of its antiviral, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial properties, as well as its nice pleasant taste and the oil that i'm currently using is this one from sprouts it is an organic virgin coconut oil that is unrefined and a bottle like this probably costs like seven or eight dollars at my grocery store so depending on what kind of store you go to there's like a lot of different options for coconut oils or just any other type of oil maybe there's more affordable ones in your area but this is just the one that's most convenient for me and also i think coconut oil just tastes the best so directions what you're gonna do is gonna open up your oil it's gonna look like this mine is still in its hardened form because it's still cold right now and then you're gonna take your spoon so I have one that's like this you're just only gonna need about a tablespoon you're gonna take out a tablespoon of oil and put it in your mouth so you're gonna hold it in your mouth and gently swish for 15 minutes honestly I've heard people do this for a range of between 10 and 20 minutes and I think if you're just starting out you should just start with 5 to 10 minutes just to start out holding oil in your mouth is unpleasant and it's not fun and it doesn't taste good no matter what oil you use even if you use coconut oil which I think is the best tasting after you hold it on your mouth for 15 minutes you're gonna spit it out into a bin into a trash can the reason for that is because oils like this one coconut oil will harden depending on the temperature so you don't want to clog your drains if you are using oils like these so highly recommend that you spit it into a bin no matter what kind of oil you're using spit it into a bin and right afterwards, you're going to brush your teeth. The reason why you're going to brush your teeth is because after you spit it into a bin, there's going to be residual oil in your mouth. And the whole point of oil pulling is pulling out the toxins into the oil. So you definitely don't want to swallow the oil. You want to spit it out. And once you spit it out, whatever residual oils on your teeth, you want to make sure that you brush it away. That way you clean out the toxins as best as you can by one, spitting it out, and two, brushing your teeth, and three, you make sure that you don't end up consuming any of it after. In terms of what time to do oil pulling, I do oil pulling once a day. I think it's recommended to just do it once a day is like the optimal amount. First thing in the morning before you eat anything or drink anything, you just put a tablespoon in your mouth, swish it around for 15 minutes, spit it out, brush your teeth, and then you can continue on with your day. The reason for that is because once you wake up in the morning, because you haven't done anything, talked, eaten anything while you are sleeping, the toxins in your mouth are in the most optimal position, I guess, to be oil pulled. But once you consume or drink any water or eat anything, you're contaminating that environment that makes it less optimal for oil pulling. If you're suffering from any sort of like toothache or tooth pain, or you have like some kind of uncomfortable canker sore or cold sore or something like that, you can do oil pulling throughout the day to kind of ease the pain and make the area less inflamed. My tips if you're first starting out is start with a smaller amount of oil. You don't need to start with a full tablespoon. You can start with just a teaspoon or just like a smaller amount and then build up from there. You also don't have to start with the full 15 minutes. You can start with like five minutes or six minutes and build up from there once you get more comfortable with it. When you're starting out, swishing the oil in your mouth will get very tiring. I know I've been there. Your jaws will feel all sore and stuff. Just don't swish it that vigorously. And the reason for this is because it's important to build oil pulling into your habits. Oil pulling is most effective when it's done over a long period of time. So if you start off and you think this is too hard or this taste is too disgusting and revolting or it makes my jaw too sore, like whatever it is, like those things will make you want to quit really quickly. And so I just want you guys to create the most optimal environment where you're able to consistently oil pull and build this habit of oil pulling. So some other commonly asked questions I get about oil pulling is, does oil pulling loosen fillings? And I 
I've been doing oil pulling for three years, I also have many fillings in my teeth from when I was a child and none of them have ever gotten loosened. However, in the comment section of my previous video, there have been people that said that oil pulling did loosen their fillings or crowns and I think that highly depends on the quality of the dental work that you got done as well as how long ago it was, like how old is that filling and how old is that crown. The second question is when should you brush? You should brush your teeth after you oil pull, not before you oil pull. Again, oil pull the first thing in the morning and then brush your teeth right after with toothpaste. The third question I commonly get is can I eat beforehand? And the answer is please don't eat beforehand. Please keep your mouth in its optimal position to oil pull and then oil pull first. Don't eat or drink anything. If you have to have water, that's fine, but I would generally say don't eat or drink anything and then oil pull, brush your teeth, and then you can eat afterwards. The next question I commonly get is what is the best time to do oil pulling? And again, the most optimal time is in the morning, first thing when you wake up. Lots of people ask, can I do it at night before I go to sleep? Because I think most people have more time and energy to do it at nighttime, but again, it's most optimal to do in the morning. If you have to do it at night, you can do it at night. It's just not gonna be as effective but in the morning is the best. The next question I get is can I mix this with other oils or essential oils and I always just do a pure coconut oil oil pull so it kind of depends on you. I know a lot of people have mentioned that they mix their oils with clover oil or peppermint oil or like whatever types of oils and that makes it extra antibacterial or anti-inflammatory for them. You can mix around and play around however you want and find whatever works best for you but I would say that if you're just starting out with the basics just pick one good organic virgin cold pressed unrefined oil and go from there. Another super common question I get is does oil pulling fix cavities, root canals, abscesses, cracked teeth, wisdom teeth growing out wrong? A super long list of things that they're wondering will oil pulling fix and my take on that is that oil pulling is mostly preventative like yes many people claim that oil pulling can reverse cavities amongst lots of other dental issues however i would definitely say that if you have something serious going on in your mouth you should go see a dentist and please bear in mind that i've been doing oil pulling for the past three plus years because i am a huge believer of its benefits but i am not a medical or dental professional and i don't claim to be one. So I think depending on the severity of your issue, whether it's a super big cavity, whether it's a root canal that has to be seen right away, whether you have an infection in your mouth, like yes, you can try oil pulling. However, if it's really severe, you should see a dentist to get that checked out because sometimes these issues in your mouth can be very serious and life-threatening and I don't want to advise someone to do oil pulling and them to not do it correctly and then for their issue to get even worse. So with that being said, highly, highly recommend that you guys go see dentists if you guys are experiencing like crazy stuff going on in your mouth like I've been there I've had a bunch of root canals and a bunch of like cavities filled when I was a child and so I know it sucks I know it's super expensive to see a dentist you should use oil pulling as a preventative treatment don't expect it to heal everything in your mouth especially overnight and definitely go see a dentist if you're experiencing pain or something abnormal going on again I've been doing oil pulling for the last three plus years because I love it so much I've experienced so many benefits from it and I think that all the benefits that I've experienced from it, which include no more cavities since I started oil pulling, better oral hygiene, better breath, cleaner feeling teeth, and just so many other things that I highly recommend that you guys try it as well. Especially if you're like me and you're super prone to things like cavities or just any issues in your teeth health as well. So I highly recommend that you guys try oil pulling. And if you guys are watching this video, there must be some kind of interest. And so I'm super proud of you guys for watching this video. And I hope that you guys stay motivated to just try treat yourself better, treat your body better, and proactively try to give yourself a healthy life. So that was all that I had for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!